Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to Skyrim. With the uh, the new DLC coming out uh, in less than a week, I thought less than a week. Yeah, yeah, less than a week. I thought it would be a good time for me to get my character ready, so that when we start our um, our Dragonborn videos, we'll jump straight in the action without wasting time. And you might remember last time you saw me, I was doing a backward 360 pirouette jump off the roof of the, the last house that I built in Hearthfire. Um, and I, you might have remembered I built this sick ass dra uh, dwarven armor to wear for the duration of Hearthfire. But I'm going to get rid of that. I mean, there's new, there's going to be new um, armors that we'll be able to um, to make. Uh, in in the new Dragonborn, and we'll definitely make those. But for starters, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go do an old throwback to the good old days, before even a time when you guys were even watching. And uh, I'm going to use the pure Leo armor. So I'm just gonna grab that. And my good friend here. Uh, Dickith, who is uh, who I've ordained into the uh, the blades. He, well, he Lead can use the um. Need me to carry something? He can use the dwarven armor again until I build something that he can use. Um, so give that, give that, give that, give that, give that. I don't know if the things that increase carrying capacity will work with him too. It'd be nice if they did. I don't know whether or not I want to use the helmet or use the uh, circlet. They both do the exact amount of, uh, you know, reduction and destruction magic. Uh, but I will Let's tell you. Oh, maybe you'd like my uh, weapon too. To follow. Need me to carry something? I bet you would. I bet you'd like my hammer. There you go. Um, so, so the next question is weaponry. Now, in the very beginning of the game, uh, stuff that you guys wouldn't have seen because I didn't record it, uh, I actually didn't have any weapons. I used the natural powers of the Khajiit, who uh, has extra unarmed damage. Coupled with, uh, there's an item that you can get, I believe, in Riften, which uh, is called uh, Gloves of the Puglist. And you can enchant that into your gloves and the ring, I believe. Yep. And I've done that. So that adds an extra 14 damage. Well, times two. So an extra 28 damage. And on top of that, I've got the um, heavy armor perk. Where are we? Where... Unarmed attacks with heavy armor gauntlets do their armor rating. So what that means is... Uh, the armor rating of my gauntlets is 198. So I do 198, plus I think it's 10 for, for being a cat. Plus an extra 14, plus an extra 14. In damage, unarmed. It's pretty beefy. Now, if I wear the helmet... And there are certain perks uh, that give extra increase in armor rating. I will get even more damage. If I was wearing Daedric, of course, it would be the most. But I'm not into Daedric. So uh, we're using the... Even though the ultimate armor that I made back in... Um, back in uh, Dawnguard does equal parts destruction and conjuration reduction which is actually better than what I've got here. What I've got here is basically 100% destruction uh, cost reduction plus about 60% uh, or 59, 58% uh, restoration, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to need restoration. But yeah, I think I'll do that. Uh, so I don't know whether or not I should wear the helmet or I should go um, helmetless. Basically, without without the helmet, the reason why I called it the proof that I'm hardcore is because without the helmet, so without the extra perks that increase my armor rating, I'm at the armor cap right now. 
I know I don't need I don't need you don't need Daedric to be to reach the armor cap. So um, I think I think you know what I think I will use. I'll go proof that I'm. I'll do I'll do half and half. Um, got my dragonborn dragonborn dragon bone arrows. Um, what else do I got? I just got some ultimate healings. I don't even know why I carry that around anymore. Got the uh, Elder Scrolls, and this other stuff that I can't throw out because it's bugged. Keys that don't weigh anything anyway, and this other stuff that I can't throw out because it's also bugged. Alright, so. Now, uh, as for weaponry, um, I'm going to need my bow for times when one needs a bow. I'll just favorite that bad boy. Uh, don't need the rabbit jack. I would take the boner. Because the boner is a cool... It's just a kick-ass weapon. Uh, but you know what? I'm not going to take the boner. You could use the boner. No, I'll stick you. Okay, now I've also got the samurai swords. Um, which are actually blade swords. You know what? No, I'm going to go unarmed. I've decided I'm going to go unarmed. Now, what I actually did... This, this shield is purely for, for cosmetics and enchantment purposes only. Now what I used to do, is I would wear my shield like this. I would shield bash, and I would punch like that. The only downside to doing this, is that um, you don't get to see the awesome kill camps. But I've got this, this sick ass shield. What does the shield do as far as enchantments? Um, magic resistance increase. That might be useful, because I think... This armor isn't really all that good as far as, um, as far as magic resistance. I've got, okay, I've got 29. What's the cap for magic resistance? Um, because I think you're fine. I've got some active effects too. I think you're right. Let's have a look. I think the cap is 75%? Possibly? Uh, what have we got? Uh... Nope. Um, I got I got resist fire and resist frost. Those are the shoes. All right. Resist magic. Okay, so I've automatically got thirty. Plus I've got an extra fifteen. So that brings it up to forty-five. Is that percentage though? I think so. Is it though? I think so. Got resist shock. Uh, when did I get that? Uh, okay, so I got 29 plus 29. I don't think I need that much. So this is 45. Is the cap 50 or? I think the cap's 70 actually, to be honest. So that's 45. Plus 30 is 50, 60, 70, 74. I don't think I need the shield. Ah, I'm torn. Should I take it or not? If I take it, I'll be like, good, just like the old days. But if I don't really need it, then I don't really need it. Do I really want him to be carrying around this uh, dwarven stuff? Yeah, I think so. But you don't want to take a... You don't want to take the, uh... The Fang of Leo? Nah. There's the Akuma Leo armor. Ultimate Leo armor. Dark Leo armor. And the Samurai Leo armor. And then I've got all my Dragon, bo my dragon Bone weapons. But I'm not going to need any of those. Okay, so I think, I think I'm done. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay. And I'll, I'll use the shield... I'll use the shield for now. Stuff it. Alright. That's it. Well, um... When I... When I came back here, um... What happened? Oh, that's right. My little girl had a, um... She's got a, a pet fox now. Look at the cute little foxy. Which is something I never actually got to do in Hearthfire. Um, I also noticed that my forge armor, which is down here, which I won't go to. I've got it on a mannequin downstairs. The forge armor, basically, the purpose of that armor is it's, it's all enchanted up to increase my smithing and my potion making. And 
for whatever reason, uh, some of the items dechanted. And I'm not sure why that happened, but it did. I think we're done, really. I don't think there's really anything to do. I guess I could tell you the... Basically, what I've been doing is I've just been relaxing in the house, really. Just chilling out. Getting a load of my sick... I am your sword and your shield. Yeah, you are. Um, oh, there's the Zubaz helmet. <laughs> yeah! Um... Well, basically, uh... Quite a long time ago, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's sit down and have a chat about what I've done in my life. Quite a long time ago, I, um... Well, I was a prisoner, and then a dragon attacked and sort of saved me. Uh, then I found out that the dragons were returning. That was kind of scary. I was summoned by the, uh, the, the Greybeards, and they told me that I was the Dragonborn. Uh, a, a mortal with the inert power of the voice. So I trained in the voice, and I, um, I basically defeated Alduin the World Eater, who was, uh... Uh, going to destroy the entire planet. Uh, at the same time, while I was doing that, I um, returned the Thieves' Guild up to its former glory and became its guild master. Uh, helped the uh, Dark Brotherhood uh, kill the Emperor. Uh, and do some other stuff with the Dark Brotherhood. I uh, became the, uh, the Archmage of the College of Winterhold and foiled a dark plot with them. Uh, I joined the uh, Companions, became the, uh, whatever the leader of the Companions is. Uh, and what did we do with the Companions? Um, oh, I, uh, what's her name? The, the leader, Codlack, uh, cured him of, of his, uh, lycanocopy. Then I had a, a bit of a rest, a long, long, long needed rest, and I, um, Oh, and also, I participated in a civil war between the Empire and the Stormcloaks, joining the Stormcloaks, and ultimately uh, kicking the, the Empire out of uh, Skyrim. So I had a long rest, uh, rested in my lowers and the Embershard Mine. Uh, then uh, I found out, uh, a few seasons later, I found out about the uh, the Dragon Guard. Uh, sorry, the Dragon Guard. Jesus. The Dawn Guard had returned, and um, they were... They were basically sworn to uh, f kill all the vampires. I um, went to this cave where I met this ancient vampire who had a um, who had uh, another uh, Elder Scroll. Uh, I'd already collected one Elder Scroll uh, during the course of fighting Alduin, and uh, I met the leader of the vampires, and I joined the vampires and became a vampire lord. I was feared and hated by many. Uh, and I mercilessly killed all that I that I came in my path. Um, ultimately, I journeyed to the Forgotten Vale and secured uh, Oriol's bow, which I used to fire a blood-soaked arrow into the sun, uh, blotting out the sun. And um, yeah, the vampires went pretty nuts after that. Uh, we had a bit of a rest after that. We killed a whole bunch of people, and we got tired. But then uh, I found out that I could actually build myself a house. So I built the house that I'm in now, fully furnished it. Then I went out and I built two more houses and mostly furnished them. Oh, I, I fully furnished them, pretty, for all intents and purposes. Um, and then I basically rested for months and months and months. And now I've decided to uh, come out of retirement once again because I've heard about uh, some rumours about another... Dragonborn, and uh, the the possibility of possibly going to Solheim, uh, north of uh, Morrowind, north uh, east of uh, Skyrim. Oh, so I've decided to um, don my pure Leo armor once again, with my trusty sidekick Dirthkis. Well, he's my trusty sidekick for now, and we're going to journey uh, to well wherever that takes us. I don't know yet because I don't actually have the DLC. Um, and uh, see what lies in store for us then. But for now, my name is Leo. And uh, I think I'll uh, end this episode where I started off. Which was just in here with my back to my awesome armors. But uh, for now, my name is Leo. And I will see you next time when we play Dragonborn.